Lynette with Annette's Astrology Corner, and this is your energetic reading for Friday, February 26th. Well, today is shaking up all the energy. It is breaking rules. It's about being rebellious. It's about being outspoken. It's about it's about fun. It's about opportunity. It's about adventure. It's about moving forward. It is just very, very invigorating energy for those of you who are caught in positivity or concentrating on the upside of this energy. So today we have Saturn in a benefic mood, a benefic mood that is going to be working. Well, it's going to be positively aspecting your relationships and the way you think, unconventional mindsets, standing out, standing tall. It's about moving forward. It's about unique perspectives. It's about a new approach. It's about new theories, new concepts. Saturn is really, really all about modernizing your life, modernizing your thinking. It's about um, creating, it's about breaking you free from rituals. It's about doing things different. That is when, is to do anything you can different. Do something drastically different, even in your routines during the day. Because this energy is all about just in some way, just developing, developing the mindset that it's okay to be different. Um, this is about individuating yourself. It is about um, being, it's about being the person who doesn't follow along in the crowd, right? It's about, it's about something, it's about non-tradition, traditional thinking. It's about, it's about being, it's, it's, it's about being, <laughs> It's not about being conservative. It's about being um, kind of like, I don't know if you've ever been to the East Coast and then you go to the West Coast and the West Coast is like, oh my gosh, there's just a strip joint on every corner. Everybody is, you know, kind of bisexual and, you know, we're just, we're very open-minded on the West Coast. The East Coast, very conservative. Not that they're not open-minded there too, but it, there's a lot more structure and control and and it's very Republican and it's very conservative. And if you come out, if you go out to the West Coast, it's all liberal and hippies and it's just a whole different world. And so they can seem like two different worlds when really, truly, they're all the same world. It's just, you know, people aren't as outspoken on the East Coast as they are on the West Coast. And there's nothing wrong with either thinking. It's just two different sides of the country that think that do things just a little bit different. But it is about challenging the way that we've always done stuff. So for some of us that are really open minded and and we're just eccentric and we're just living the dream like we have no accountability. It's about maybe being accountable and partnering and maybe um seeking a relationship. It's about, you know, settling down, but still having that unique perspective on it. But it's about opening up our hearts and not just being a person who has to walk alone. For some of us, it's about, you know what, shaking free, breaking free from a conservative relationship where you don't feel like you can express yourself. And it's about moving forward. And it's about doing things different. It's about going to a different country. It's about doing a different adventure. It's about um, doing something different in your routine. You know, if you always wanted to go to a cooking, you know, take a specific type of cooking class, it's about, you know what, just doing it. It's about signing up for school. It's about changing your career. You're changing your outcomes. I mean, for some of you, it is that drastic. And for some of you, it's just, if you're very, very conservative, it's, it's about shaking up your routine enough to keep it a little interesting. It's about spicing things up in the bedroom. It's about I don't know, adding some twists and turns in something. It's about buying something sexy that you normally wouldn't buy just to kind of make yourself stand out. It's about going and buying a dress that is just gives you all the right curves for some of you that don't embrace your curves and don't embrace the fact that you're ultra curvy. Or some of you, it's about the fact that, you know what, you don't feel like you can wear that dress because you you're you don't feel like you're at the adequate weight. It's not about being critical of yourself. It's about embracing 
everything you are, how unique you are, how wonderful you are, the unique features that you have, that, and not blending in. You're not, not about blending in at all in this type of energy. That And that is Saturn benefic. That is Uranus benefic. Both these guys are in a great mood if you're embracing Aquarian energy. So remember where energy can go astray, where it can go wrong, is when we try to stay stuck. We like our rituals. We want to be conservative. We don't want to stand out because standing out means that we're taking a risk. And we're not about risk. We're about doing everything the same way that we've always done it because, you know what, that is a comfort zone. And we want to shake up our comfort zones. We want to do stuff that is just absolutely almost on the borderline of defiant. So you may feel a little refreshed flirty, rebellious, you may feel very, very outspoken, benefic, you may feel very forward, be forward, you know what, if you've been liking somebody from afar, they think like you, but you've been trying to blend in into this circle, go blend into the circle that you truly, honestly feel authentically connected to, um, you may feel like you're taking like taking a risk and not considering the consequences. Fabulous. That's benefic. You know, don't do everything the way that you've always done it. That's malefic in this energy. Um, you are not shy about voicing your opinion. You're stirring it up. Um, you, especially in your circle of friends. On social media, you're standing out for some of you. Um, for some of you, it's about updating your profiles on social media. It's about um, reflecting more of who you deeply are instead of externally what everybody wants to see. Um, you may find it fun to shock others to get attention and a reaction. Some of you may just like stirring it up. This energy is all about stirring everybody up, stirring up their perceptions of you, stirring up the way that they that they see you. This is benefic energy, wonderful energy to encourage right now. Um, your actions may be very, very impulsive and risky, and do go for it. Go for it in this energy because Saturn will remove an obstacle for you. So for some of you that's been fearful to take a risk that you know creates opportunity because of a ritualistic mindset, that's not a high vibration. That's a low vibration in this particular energy. So a negative vibration in this energy. Anybody that is afraid to express themselves. Anybody that is afraid to embrace their unique characteristics. Everybody that's hypercritical of themselves will experience a quincunx. Jupiter will expand those issues with you. So... If you're having some weight issues and you're afraid to go buy that black dress because guess what? It shows something on you that you don't see. Jupiter's going to expand that insecurity. Um, for some of you that like your rituals, it's going to expand the need to create more rituals. So for some of you, OCD could be getting a little bit out of hand. Um, for some of you, um, it's about getting lost in your mind and consumed by your thoughts. And um, you can become very, very obsessive. Jupiter may be expanding those particular areas. So radical energy meets duty and responsibility and behavior as well as consequences. So for you, the consequences of responsibilities is that you obsess over your rituals. So I know for me, I'm a workaholic. So what's going to expand probably in my life, because I have a hard time releasing my, my ability to release myself from work, from the rituals, from the need to work excessively, is I'm probably going to create more work for myself, because that's what Jupiter will expand, if you can understand that, that sort of concept. So your duties and your responsibilities will expand, and, and mine will, because I have to do all the videos for 
the solar eclipse and the lunar eclipse that's coming up. I have that whole section. I have this week, and, and we have a whole lot going on in astrology, not to mention my work. I have a bunch of classes that accumulate and end that I need to have for this month. So it's just a crazy, of course, because that's where I devote my energy is into my rituals and into being a workaholic. So be prepared, you workaholics. Work is going to intensify for some of you. Indulgent behaviors lead to unexpected consequences for some of you. This is health concerns, as we've been talking about. Doing what feels good is not always about what will create the long-term mental stability. So for some of you, even though what we see, what we're fixating on, what we're, what, where we're devoting our energy feels like a long-term um, commitment to something can lead to a long-term consequence for some of us that could be a great deal of mental exhaustion, insecurities, hypercritical um, um, ness of ourselves as we start to create. It's almost like we're devoting so much of our energy to um, a project or to a goal or to a duty or a responsibility that we're forgetting the pleasurable experience, the need for self um, gratification. I always say that, you know, I'm always scraping about um, ego, but in this case, we're putting ego aside too much and we're not feeding. We're not feeding our soul. We're not re-energizing ourselves. We're working long hours. We're not sleeping enough. So Neptune and the sun can't pour in the healing and Chiron can't heal our soul because we don't spend enough time allowing ourselves to sleep and to fully embrace because the stress is increasing and it's interrupting that healing time for our body. A lot of healing goes on in our mind and in our body when we're unconscious. And we're not, that's not, that's not possible for some of us as we're expanding our responsibilities. So follow your intuition and not your impulses to feed immediate gratification. So what I'm trying to say is that for some of you, the immediate gratification that I'm referring to, it's not that need to stand out, to get a voice, to stand tall, to buy a new dress, it, to face who you are. To break free from a limiting thought process. It's, I'm not talking about that type of self-gratification. I'm talking about you're eating too much, you're smoking too much, you're drinking too much, you're doing too many drugs, you're smoking too much pot. Whatever it is to make you not face what is inevitable. You have to do that because that's going to just keep expanding and the, the need for those things is going to get worse for some of you. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching Annette's Astrology Corner and I look forward to talking to you guys again tomorrow.